Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this tutorial, I will tell you about 3D coordinate system in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, you have to draw a drawing on various planes. And in order to draw drawings on various planes, you need to move your UCS. You can see right now on the screen here, this is UCS, which you'll see with three different colors, red for X, green for Y, and Z, blue for Z. So this is UCS and you need to move this UCS into different orientations in order to draw your geometry. Now, right now, go to this top view and here you can see X and Y axis. Now since you can see only X and Y axis, that means right now you are into XY plane, which is indicated with red color also here. Now all the drawings on AutoCAD can only be drawn in XY plane. Let's go and draw a circle here. And you can comfortably draw a circle since you are into XY plane. Now let's go and turn it a little. Now you are into YZ plane or ZY plane indicated with this Z and Y axis. Also you can see this green plane. You cannot draw on this plane directly without moving your UCS. Now let's go and draw the circle. Let's try to make it. And here you, you can see that you cannot draw it even after making attempts, several attempts. No, you cannot draw this. You can only draw this into XY plane. So in order to draw this into X, this plane, you need to turn this UCS, which we are going to learn a little bit later in this tutorial. Let's turn it to this side. And now you can only see Z and X axis. And so obviously this is XZ or ZX plane, which is also indicated with this sky blue plane. Now we'll learn how to work with different planes. Since we have seen all the three axes, now let's go to this drawing. Now here you'll see different drawings and here we have our UCS. Right now our UCS is at a random location and the point where it is is the origin. Now if you want to change the origin of this UCS, go on and select this command. Select this box which is origin. Now click on origin. Your UCS will follow your cursor now. And now place your UCS at the location where you want to place it. So I just want to place it here. Click on this point and here you have your UCS and with your UCS your origin also shifts to this point. Now let's go and see these icons, check these icons. Right now your UCS is at origin and clicking on this icon will bring your UCS to origin. And right now since it is at origin it, make, it made no effect. Let's select the second icon, show UCS icon. Now as soon as you click on this, you'll see that your UCS moves to lower left corner. And now even if you pan it, it will remain at the lower left corner. The third icon will hide your UCS. So to bring it back, you need to select either this or this. So I need to show my UCS at origin, click on this and your UCS will appear at origin point. Now I told you that we can only draw into XY plane. And suppose that I want to draw on this green plane. And as you can see that we are, or we cannot draw on this green plane right now because it's ZX plane. Go to this back view and then you can see that the green one is ZX plane. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to turn this ZX into XY in order to draw this. So now let's go and explore the tools which will help you in turning this plane into XY plane. Okay, go to this drop down menu. And here you will find view, object and face, these three icons. Let's go to face, select face and click on the face which you want to use as your XY plane or the face on which you want to draw. Now click on this face and press enter and you can see that your UCS now aligns with that face and now click on this top view and there you can see that it's now XY plane. Now let's go and draw on this plane. And yes, you can definitely draw here after turning this plane. Now let's go and draw on some other plane. Now we have drawn on this plane. Now what if you want to draw on this red plane now? So you have to make it your XY plane. Now let's go and go to this face and click on this face and press enter. And now you can see that this is your XY plane. Now even if you draw you're drawing like this in the orthographic view 
you can draw it comfortably only on xy plane you don't have to worry about your placement of planes no matter where you will draw it will always be drawn on xy plane that you can see here it's always drawn on xy plane so now let's go and delete these two drawings uh, okay now what if you want to draw on this yellow plane for that you need to turn this UCS so click on this UCS select face click on any of the face on which you want to draw in this case I'll draw in this face press enter and now make your rectangle or any other geometry and here we have our geometry see so here we have made this on this plane in this way you can draw on any of the plane that you want so these are all the perpendiculars what if we want to make it on a tapered plane like this one so here we have two tapered planes the blue one and the pink one what if you want to draw on this pink one if without changing any planes you'll try to draw on this plane you can see that you cannot do this okay where our circle is there it is it is not on this plane obviously not here so what you need to do first erase this and now let's go to face select face click on this face and press enter and now let's go and draw it and you can see that you can draw easily on this face and similarly you can select this face or any of the face using your face option and you'll be able to draw it on any of the face now let's look at the object option in order to draw on any object on any 2d object you need to select this object option since our UCS is now aligned with this plane and if we want to make our drawing which is parallel to this plane or on the plane on which this rectangle is drawn so we need to select that rectangle so go to object select this rectangle and click on the point where you want to place your origin so if I'll click on this point close to this point this point will become origin if I click on this point it will become origin so whichever corner you want to make origin click close to that point and you can see that our UCS lies parallel to this rectangle and now any of the drawing which you will draw will be drawn on the plane on which you have your rectangle similarly if you want to now draw on the plane on which this circle is go to object and select this circle okay go on click on this circle and now you'll be able to draw on this circle select circle and there it is you can simply draw on that circle now the third option is view the view corresponds to our current view the view means the view in which we want to we are looking at right now right now we are looking at XY view so all the drawings will be drawn in this view because we are into XY view we don't need to worry about that now let's change our view now we are into YZ and if you want to draw in this plane you won't be able to draw without changing UCS so now let's go and click on view as soon as you'll click on view you'll see that your UCS changes to XY and now you can directly draw on this view you can move your view cube to any of the views right now this is a random orthographic view and if you want to place your plane of drawing which is a parallel to our screen go to this point and select view and now you can see that your UCS aligns with this plane go on and draw this and you can exactly draw a drawing which is parallel to your current plane now we have moved our UCS to many directions and we have randomly arranged it many times so in order to move to our original configuration of UCS you need to click on this world icon so click on this world and the UCS now moves to its default position wherever it was initially so in order to move your UCS you just need to click on that world icon and your UCS will return to its default position which was here now let's have a look at one more tool into UCS
We have already seen origin and with the help of origin you can move your UCS to any of the locations. Now suppose we want to make our drawing on this yellow plane, this one. So we need to click on this icon, go to face and select this face and press enter. And now we can comfortably draw on this plane. So go ahead and draw this. But what if we want to draw on this yellow plane or on this yellow plane? We don't need to move our UCS, we don't need to arrange it, we don't need to select face again. Just we need to move origin from this point to this point. For that, click on this origin and select any of the point on this plane. And here we have our XY axis aligned to this plane. Now whatever you will draw will be drawn on this plane only. Now let's go and turn this OSNAP off and now here you can see that it's drawn only on this plane. Again if you want to make a, if you want to make your drawing on this plane you only need to move your origin. So let's turn this OSNAP on, select on origin and click on this origin. Now again whenever you will draw you can only draw on this plane. So in order to move your planes parallel just select origin and move it. Now again we have changed the configuration of our UCS. If you want to return to the previous position of UCS, click on this UCS previous. Click on this previous and it will return to the previous. Now click on this previous again and it will again return, return to the previous position. Click on previous again and it will return back to the default position. So this was all in the basics of UCS. In next tutorial I will explore all the advanced tools and properties related to UCS. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment box. And as always, thanks for watching.